Hey Aries, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Thursday, December 24th. At the heart of your reading, we have the Ace of Needles. There's some newfound truth or clarity that you're coming to terms with. Um, the Ace of Needles is also my Yes card. So if you came to this reading with a question in mind, the answer is yes, and we'll get into more detail as to how that's gonna play out. The challenge that you're facing at the moment is the Four of Candles. This is how to go about um, displaying the accomplishment that's at hand. There's some sort of, um, I wanna say minor culmination because it's not like decades long per se, but it is the culmination of an effort that is met with some celebration. Um, Some of you may have come to a realization about uh, an upcoming event, or you may have just said yes to like organizing an upcoming event or attending an upcoming event. Your focus right now, we have another ace. So lots of uh, taking hold of the new energy that's available to you saying yes to the universe. It's like universe really wants to guide you in a new direction here and you seem to be totally up for that. Um, Ace of Candles is about passion, drive, motivation, inspiration. So you're feeling very invigorated at the moment and really wanting to fan that flame. Let's see what led up to this. We have the Nine of Needles in reverse. So you had been plagued by some negative thoughts or some untrue thoughts um, that had been holding you back, potentially disrupting your sleep. And then in the energy of the environment, we have the Seven of Wands, Seven of Candles in this deck. So that's you really taking a stand or, or the situation is going to call for you or someone else who's very critical to the situation, um, really stand up for what's important to them, stand up for what's right in the situation. It also means there's likely going to be some challenges to that stance. So it's the, the preparation to defend yourself against potential challengers. In the near future, we have the Page of Needles in reverse. I feel like this is that challenger energy. This is someone who doesn't necessarily see things your way and maybe trying to convince other people that your way isn't the way to do things. Um, it's kind of like a disruptive energy. Let me clarify that for you. Why do we have the Page of Needles in reverse here? What's the disruption? We have the world, the Page of Candles, the seven of potions in reverse. It may be someone that you're you're leaving behind kind of pops up in order to make themselves known because I see an ending here despite someone's very sincere um, expression of passion, but there, there's also this clarity, this decision, emotional decision that's been made like all right, um, you might have been an option at one point, but it's over now. So if that's resonating for you, look out for some potential in the near future, the next few days, week or so. Um, that person may pop up and uh, like it, it, page of needles in reverse is also just communication you don't want to hear. So just the fact that they're reaching out and communicating might be what you don't want to hear is like anything at all. <laughs> Um, your surprise energy is going to be the lovers in reverse. So this is reevaluating an emotional commitment. Um, it can mean a breakup, not always. Um, it's just like a reevaluation of something that you'd been very excited about and willing to jump in and commit to. But um, the surprise, I think, is the shift of that energy into the reevaluation phase. Your hopes and fears, we have the empress in reverse. This is a, uh, a loss of control over other people. It's like, and it's not a direct control, it's more like an influence. Um, 
when you've established a relationship with other people, friends, um, coworkers, that you kind of know how they're going to react when you ask them to do things um, or when you need something from them. You're hopeful that 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 will remain constant in the way that you've been experiencing it. But because I see this reversal, it makes me think you're concerned that people might not be as apt to help you out as they have been leading up to this point. Um, if you're moving in a new direction, because we have these two aces, it may be that you're just leaving a support system behind. So that's no one or less people around to kind of... Because, um, like, what is an empress without her empire? Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of a feeling. Like, if you don't have the, the structure to work within that you've built yourself upon, um, then there aren't people to carry out your wishes. The end result, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this is about timing. It's also about good things to come and karma that's owed. Um, the reversal, I feel like there's going to be more waiting. Uh, this is like a building phase. This looks like lots of newness, a celebration of the and uh, what's <laughs> embarking <laughs> embarkation that's not a word this the celebration of embarking on, on this new journey with the ace of needles and the ace of candles I feel like yeah this it's saying we can't look that far in the future because this is a long term um you know this isn't a one day subject we're talking about this is like potentially years in the making, something that you're going to be really cultivating and growing. Um, you're starting at the next rung of the ladder here. You're starting, you know, on a new cycle. And this is going to be until until it comes time to complete this, it's going to be a little while. Your advice here is the two of needles in reverse. So don't shy away from making decisions. Um, even if you don't feel like you can see clearly what is the exact perfect right thing to do, the important thing is to get the ball rolling here in these new stages. So as you make decisions, you'll be able to, um, like, the universe will be able to meet you. You move forward, universe moves forward. It's like this meeting of energy. And then, um, yeah, if you, if you wait and wait and wait to make the decision, then you're standing still and universe is stuck over here. It's like you have to move toward your goal for universe to move toward you. And then there's going to be this really great meeting of energies to propel things forward as you move through this journey. Aries, I hope that helped. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.